guys, Lemmy here. Welcome back to another art video. Today we are going to be reviewing a tablet made by Huion. They gave me this tablet for free in exchange for a review, and it's not going to impact my review one way or another. My reviews are always 100% honest, regardless if someone gives me something for free or not. So, the tablet that I'm going to be reviewing is called the Canvas. K-A-M-V-A-S G-T 191. To be clear about what kind of tablet this is, they call it on the website a pen tablet monitor, but I think it's more commonly known as a Cintiq just because I think that was kind of like the first brand made by Wacom that kind of I guess generalize this sort of equipment. So I think like Cintiq, that's what this is. It is a monitor that you can draw on with a tablet pen and whatever you do with the pen, it will appear on the screen as if you were using a mouse. At the beginning of the video, I do an unboxing. What is in the box is the Huion GT191 a newly designed digital stylus pen. It actually comes with two of those. One is a gift and one comes with the, the tablet. A pen holder, eight pen tips. So if one of them breaks or something goes wrong with it, you can replace the pen nib. A pen charging cable, HDMI cable, power adapter, power cable, USB cable, and a screen protector. The screen protector comes attached to the screen and at different points I remove the screen protector to kind of see what the difference with the protector is and what the difference without the protector is. So I'll get into that later in the review. The tablet is on Huion's website. The regular price is $499 but they have a special price going on right now for $449. Um, on their website, if you buy it right now. So that's kind of just generally the price. I'm sure that it will get lowered as time goes on when different tablets come out or something like that because usually when a new piece of technology comes out, it's really super expensive and then as time goes on it gets cheaper when new things come onto the market and then they're trying to push the sales of different things. So currently it's at 450 on their website. I'm just gonna read off some of the features of this tablet that is set on the website. It says IPS in plane switching panel which the IPS panel is a superior type of screen that offers consistent image appearance, higher definition, better color accuracy, and greater light transmission from all viewing positions. It's widescreen with the perfect ratio, 16 um, colon nine. GT191 has got an amazing 19.5 inch IPS LCD widescreen, which is perfect for artists to work on, the slim bezel also gives this pen display a sleek look. Um, fabulous color, the GT191 also features 72% NTSC color gamut. Mm, I'm not sure about that word. <laughs> Plus 3000 um, one in a contrast ratio. It presents 16.7 million colors vividly, which ensures the color of your artwork always matches the color that you desire great display effect. The features of the GT191 also includes 8,192 levels of pen pressure sensitivity, um, which this, this is something that they're really, I think, pushing because the other tablets that they sold have less pressure sensitivity. And in the email when they were talking to me, they said that this had better pen pressure sensitivity. So I think they're really super proud of that. 233 PPS report rate and 5,081 LPI resolution. These parameters make sure that you can get faster recognition and better display effects during your, your work. Um, compatibility. It works with Windows 7, 8, 8.1, 10, Mac OS X 10.10. 
10.0 <laughs> and is compatible with all major programs and more. And then it kind of goes into these other things that aren't so much about the actual tablet, but other features. So there's an Ergo Design Pen. Um, it comes with the newest digital pen, PE330, which has a long lasting battery and a strengthened nib. This pen is easy to use and comfortable to work with. Um, newest pen stand. The new pen holder not only allows you to put the pen vertically or horizontally, but it also simply, you can unscrew it and use the built-in nib extractor. So that the nib extractor is part of the pen stand. There's a screen protector. The top graded anti-glare screen protector protects the panel from scratches and smudges. It also provides you with a comfortable paper-like touch. The protector is already assembled on the screen beforehand. Adjustable stand, which is sturdy and reliable, is also able to adjust within 20 degrees to 80 degrees range easily. And as a free gift, they give you the extra stylus or pen. So the first thing I did was I installed the drivers on my computer and it also comes with a warranty card. I. Um, I screwed in the stand to the back of the tablet and I plugged everything in and the very first thing that happened when I got everything set up was that my sound stopped working on my computer because my computer recognized the tablet as a sound device and not as, I guess, a monitor. Uh, it was weird, so I had to go in there and finagle my settings and switch back the sound to what it was before. At first I thought maybe I plugged it into like the wrong place or something like that. I don't even know. I was very confused, but it was, it was a little weird. And I've had many tablets before. Um, I've had two Cintiq sort of like pen displays. And I've had a graphics tablet where it was one of those handheld ones. But I've never had a tablet where you had to plug in the pen to have it charged. So that was a little bit strange. I'll get into that in a second. So the first impressions of this was I absolutely thought that the monitor of the tablet is just absolutely beautiful. When they say that it's sleek, it it's really sleek. It's really nice. Everything looks beautiful. I was really impressed by it. You feel like you have plenty of space to work on on this screen and you just have you just plenty of room. So I was really super impressed by that. Everything works really well when you calibrate it. Where you put the pen down is where it will appear and everything's really great. It's very reactive so when you make a line it appears while you're making it it's no, there's no delays I had a tablet where it had delays and that was really frustrating so this this is really really nice one thing I will say is that for the tablet itself I would have really enjoyed if they put express keys on the side of it because this tablet has absolutely zero express keys on the side and when I first started doing artwork digitally, that wouldn't have bothered me because I was still kind of learning how to use the programs and stuff and express keys were the last thing that I was really thinking about because I was just trying to figure out where everything was. But when you're doing something for a living and you're trying to get it done quickly, not having the express keys when, when you're a professional artist or an artist who knows what they're doing already, it can be extremely frustrating because you can't just click a button and it goes back. Um, you can set, there's two buttons on the tablet pen that you can set to do different things but there is no keys on the tablet itself. So that was extremely frustrating for me. Also, I did set the, the buttons on the tablet pen, the stylus, to do different things. And one was to toggle between the eraser and the brush, but I will say that 
as much as I love this, this screen and the monitor, because I really think that they're really great, the pen feels lacking. And the design of the pen feels really cheap, like the plastic is very, it feels very plasticky. It doesn't feel like it's weighted. I, I've dropped it quite a few times while I was working with it in my hand. And the, the shape of the pen doesn't really fit my hand very well, so I'm often accidentally hitting those buttons that I set to switch between the eraser and the brush. And that was really frustrating because it's like, I'm not trying to hit these buttons and I'm trying to draw and I'm actually erasing what I'm drawing. So it was pretty frustrating to have the button placed where it was. And I have three other tablet pens here and none of those tablet pens did I ever have this toggling issue where I accidentally would hit the buttons. So as much as I love the tablet screen, I'm not in love with the pen. Also, you have to charge the pen. It says that it has a really long life um, once you charge it, but I find that when you plug it in, it doesn't click into place, and that you put the the, the cable into the pen, and it, it easily is like popping out on its own. And if it pops out, then it stops charging. So basically what I had to do was plug it in and like push it in and then put it on my desk and like not sneeze on it. I, like, I couldn't look at it. I just walked away from my desk and I was like, this thing needs to charge because like if you look at it funny, the thing is going to unplug on its own. So I was not a big fan of the tablet pen and it's really a shame because the screen is so nice and and um, the you can adjust it with the, the stand on the back and you can get it really flat and you can get it really straight and you could use it as a monitor to view things and you can use it to work and it's really a great monitor but the pen in comparison just feels super cheap and to me it would have been like so easy to just make a nicer pen that matches the quality of the tablet itself you know instead of like cheaping out on the pen and I know that they gave you two which was really really cool I haven't had any other company give me two pens so that's nice that they give you a free gift but the pen itself I was not impressed with the quality of it and for me that was that was a, a real drawback of this tablet between the express keys not being existent but they do have other tablets on their website that do have express keys but this specific one doesn't and with the the quality of the pen itself those were the kind of things that kind of let me down during this experience but as for the the actual when you're using it it's great it works really really well if you don't get frustrated by the pen maybe it's just that I have a really small hand um, <laughs> my uh, fiance keeps saying I have hamster hands because I have really tiny hands so this could also just be that I have really small hands so maybe I was accidentally hitting the button because it, I don't have as much room to like grip the pen, so maybe my hand is brushing against it, but yeah, I was really disappointed in the pen. But the actual experience of drawing on the tablet was really super great. Also, I know I mentioned that they said they would have screen protectors, and they do, and the screen protector is essentially you know when you buy things from the store that have a screen and then they have that film on top of it that's what this is it's attached by four little sticky glue marks in the corners and you can peel it off and re reveal the screen which looks absolutely gorgeous I'm like doing it right now as I speak but it looks so pretty without the screen protector and I did that purposely for the review to draw on the screen protector and to draw underneath the screen protector and see the difference. And when I first started using the pen on the screen, it wasn't gliding very nicely. It was kind of like catching a bit. 
Um, but when I put the screen protector back on, I didn't have that issue anymore. It wasn't catching on the screen protector. When you draw on the screen protector, it has a totally different feel than if you were to just draw on the monitor itself. It kind of almost feels like you're drawing more on paper, which is really cool for traditional artists that want to get into digital art, but they just hate the transition because it's, you know, it's, I have this problem too. There's just something about transitioning to digital art from traditional art where you just, it feels weird. So the screen protector actually helps a lot in that way. So I recommend that you don't throw it out because I was almost actually going to do that before I realized that this was a selling point of the tablet. So I kind of just like put it back on there and I was like, oh, this is cool. <laughs> I like this. But um, since it is a film on top of the monitor, it does distort the colors a little bit. It makes everything less... Um, less vibrant, less clear, because it's kind of like that film on top, you know? So you might have to correct the settings in the tablet and maybe like turn up the contrast a little bit or something like that. Um, but also I noticed before I removed the protecting screen, everything was nice and pretty and everything was great. Once I put the screen protector back on, you'll see where there'll be these little marks where it's like attached to the tablet and not so it creates like these little crinkle marks so i didn't really notice this when the tablet was on but when i turned it off i saw all these markings on there so it might disturb some people if they're trying to draw on it but they're seeing all these marks made by the screen protector attaching to the tablet also, a piece of like dust fell in between the, the tablet and uh, the screen protector. So then I was like running over the pieces of dust and stuff. And then that was creating like my lines weren't smooth. They were all rigid because of that. So if you get it, I suggest not removing the screen protector. And if you want to give it a try, just remove like an upper right corner or bottom right corner or something. And then like trying it on the side to see like which feel is more for you. Because I know as a traditional artist, the screen protector on the tablet is the way for me to go. But I think as a digital like artist, who's someone who's used to drawing on tablets all the time, I think that removing the screen protector um, would probably be fine, especially if you have a glove to uh, keep from smudging the monitor and keeping from getting your hand warm and stuff like that. Speaking of which, I was very mindful to look and make sure that the tablet did not get warm because that was some problem I had with my previous um, snap. It was not like a Wacom Cintiq. It was it was an off-brand Cintiq. It was a pen tablet monitor from a different company. And that tablet would get super duper uber warm. And so it's always been something I've been really mindful about since then is that I always wanted a tablet that didn't get really hot or feel like it was overheating because that sort of thing makes me very anxious it makes me feel like I have to work faster or else like I won't get as much done and then I have to turn it off and let it cool down and that stuff drives me crazy so I did not notice that it was very warm at all like I checked the top the bottom and it might have been slightly warm maybe but I didn't really notice it I thought it was it was really great so all in all I really love using the tablet like the whole feel of it's really great it's just that if you're a professional and you need to get things in a timely manner done you should probably look for a tablet made by Huion that has the express keys because I noticed that they have another canvas one with a different number but I think that one has express keys so if that's something that's really important to you and you want to make things in a timely manner, this is what you do for a living, you'd have to look into a different tablet because the lack of express keys makes it very laborious. <laughs> for someone who wants to go in and get their very first tablet and really just start learning digital art and they want to do it 
on on a monitor and they want to have like a Cintiq sort of thing but they don't want to spend the money I think this would be a great alternative I mean it is pretty expensive being $450 currently but I think for the price what you get it's really good if you're not sure you want to really pursue digital but you really want to give it a serious try then this might be something for you but once again you have to kind of monitor what you want in a tablet if you want the express keys you might have to go on their website find a tablet that has the express keys at a better price or something that you could afford that would work for your situation so all in all the only thing I'm really disappointed about is is the tablet pen. It would be great if Huion could make another kind of pen, like another design that they could sell in their store for people who want a different pen. That would be super cool and then I would just be like super happy and I'd buy it. <laughs> um, but yeah. It's just me trying to find things to complain about, essentially, because I want my reviews to be as honest as possible. I want to find the good in things, but also if there's something that I don't quite like and, you know, if I don't tell you about it and then you go off and buy it, I don't want to feel like I could prevent a mistake from being made. So if there's anything I can find that I don't really like, I'll tell you. But I, I was really impressed with the monitor. It looks so nice. <laughs> I absolutely love it and it's so spacious. And um, yeah, I, I really, I was really impressed with it. And um, I didn't think I was going to be as impressed as I was, but I, I really love it. and. And I want to thank Huion for giving it to me. I really super appreciate that. I think it's really cool when companies will go out there and give you a product and say, would you please review this and, and just tell everyone your honest opinion and just kind of like get our names out there. But also it's an honest way of doing so. So I appreciate that this company came to me and they gave me this tablet. It's really super cool. But guys, you need to work on these pens. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, I think that's about it for my review. If you have any questions, you can leave them down below and I'll try to get back to you if I know the answer. And yeah, I'm going to leave this picture actually in a link below. So you guys, if you want to print it out and color it or if you want to color it digitally yourself, it'll be a free coloring page. So yeah, go look for that in the description below if you're interested in coloring this picture. I was just kind of trying to draw a portrait and then like chat was talking with me and we're like, hey, how about like a biker girl? So I was gonna give her like all these piercings and like tattoos, but then I was like, um, there's no space for tattoos. <laughs> so yeah, we kind of just have like piercing girl here. So if you want to color her, look for that in the description below and I'll see you guys next week for another art video. You guys take care and I'll talk to you real soon. Bye!